Hey everyone, live from the woods here. Uh, Sunday morning. Uh, Wally, watch out. Um, I was just saying that to my cat, not you guys. Um, I gotta head into Perth for supplies for my mother and myself. Uh, as I usually do with the groceries. Anyway, I woke up feeling pretty good today. I thought I'd be sore and everything from the fishing, you know, moving around and everything. It's been a while. And uh, no, everything uh, turned out beautifully. Anyways, uh, I forgot, I woke up this morning remembering that this filter here, if I remember correctly, Norm had put that on there but I'm supposed to be able to take that apart and clean it. So we'll have to see. I'm not sanguine that that's the case. But anyways, if I can clean it, then I will. Um, I remember Norm saying that before he died that he had changed the filter so that I didn't have to replace. Well, we didn't have to replace them because we shared the boat in those days. But... Uh, um, He, uh, I, I just, I just remember waking up and going, oh yeah, okay. He said something about this. Um, my gloves. So, uh, when I get back here, cause right now it's kind of breezy and there's no black fly at all as opposed to yesterday when it was completely insane right so i mean there's still a bit around but nothing like uh it was yesterday i just have to uh i don't know if you guys can see what i'm doing there gonna unhook the boat I'm gonna leave it right where it is for now I got to move that garbage bag and put it into a the big garbage bin so just gonna leave the boat where it is it's kind of flat where it is um, and I want to do I want to fill it up full of water find out where the leaks are I'll have to get some flex seal oh boy okay I don't need the brick apparently I mean, other than that, the boat ran perfectly yesterday. You know, uh, I'm glad I figured it out. I just hope one of the jets didn't get, car jets didn't get slightly pugged because it seems to me the high speed jet would be plugged. That's why the motor wasn't running all the way up under load. So, there we go. She hit ground finally. I just hope I have enough to get off the truck here. Oh yeah. There. I think I'll throw that brick past the tire so she don't roll. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. There's some black fly. Takes them a minute or two, I guess, to discover I'm here. But it's breezy and cooler, much cooler today. So, anyway. So, yeah, we're off to do that. Get that done. I got to stop at the wood yard. Talk to Jamie for a minute. Oh, shit. I forgot. I got to... I promised a guy that I was going to bring him egg cartons and buy some eggs off of him. Uh, I think I'm going to do that later. So we'll get this get this groceries out of the way first because I have a lot to do today. No rest for the wicked on Sunday for me. So. Tell me the fuel's low, because I'm not gonna cry. Four-wheel drive low. 
that definitely needs to change. And yeah, I am low on fuel. Rain, 74 kilometers. Oh, that should be lots for what I gotta do. I might have some money sitting at Jamie's, so we'll have to see uh, what's going on that going on there. So I gotta go past his place anyways, so I'm gonna pop in there. All right, everyone. Well, I'll be back. Uh, you know, it's pointless in me filming all the way up there. You've seen that, uh, seen that run to Perth like a hundred times. So, all right, we'll be back later. See you then. Bye. Oh, well, hey everyone, I'm back. It was quite the experience grocery shopping. It's total highway robbery. All the stores, the prices have gone up at least 30%. It's unbelievable in one week. And of course, coincidentally, uh, <laughs> the prices went up as soon as Trudeau announced the $200 grocery top up for all of us in July. It was supposed to be put on your GST checks. So, but all of a sudden, every, all the prices need to go right up there. Bing, bang, boom, bada, boom. Imagine that. So, geez, I don't know guys out there. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. I wonder if the government and these companies are in it together and they actually think that Canadians are that stupid. Anyway, I'd like to see his prime ministership end over this because this is a scam. The stores are scamming. The government, I'm absolutely sure now, is in it with them. It's disgusting. And uh, the stores were empty. People can't afford that. Peanut butter that was five uh, five ninety nine a week ago is now eight fifty. Uh, eight forty nine. Uh, hamburger that was twelve dollars for three pounds for medium is now eighteen dollars. Six dollars, guys, in a week. And it's not just one thing; it's everything. So you know. You can't tell me that there isn't some sort of scam going on here. It just is. And, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I ended up with about a third less groceries than I normally would get. And that's not good. I can't operate like that. I'm a type 2 diabetic. And I have to have certain things. And I don't eat, like, fancy shit. Like, you know, it's a lot of hamburger and macaroni and shit. Which I know is not good for me. But, hey... You can afford what you can afford. And, uh, you know, not happy, man. I'm really not happy. So, independent grocer. Metro was the worst, which usually they're the best prices, but they were the worst. The price raises up there were just unbelievable. My cheese went up $4 in a week. I usually get two packs of cheese and I, I could only get one because literally now I'm almost paying uh, th that what a week ago was priced for two for one. So I got one. And see, that's the other thing is, boy, I, 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 I just, I'm absolutely going to love to see these stores lose their, well, they can't lose customers. Everybody's got to eat and they know that, but everybody's going to be cutting back. That I can guarantee you. So, I mean, all they're going to do is have their sales go down. And uh, I'm happy to see it, honestly. So, I mean, uh, come on, you know? Like, we haven't been, we haven't been fucked over enough, everybody. Now you got to do it again. And as soon as Trudeau hands us some money to help on the groceries, uh, it's $200 for a single, I think, and 400 for a family. That's wiped out. Even before they raise the prices, the $200... You guys know what it's like to buy groceries on 200. Maybe not Americans, but up here, oh, it's a big different story. And you even go further north, like in the northern Ontario or northern Canada, you don't even want to know the prices they pay for stuff there. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's total grand larceny by people that call themselves decent people with suits. They're gangsters. At least I always had to, the balls to admit that I was a fucking gangster, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't play the hypocrite game, but they'll shit down on people like me and and and, and other people like that But the suit and ties can do the same shit that they accuse of, uh, accuse of us doing thing is theirs We did it amongst ourselves. We didn't care about regular people. We left them alone But these people suit and ties call themselves decent citizens and business owners. They're just fucking gangsters No better than bikers mafia or anybody not that I'm knocking bikers, because I... Anyway. 
<laughs> Point is, is that there, I mean, and people just sit there. People in the store were just completely clueless. It's like I, I, I mentioned the two guys and they were, the only people that were clued in were the kids working over at Metro. Okay. I asked them, I said, did you any of you get raises here? He, they said, no. I said, you guys all noticed the prices? Cause I'm, you know, talking really loud. I wanted to make sure the owners could hear me in their little security cameras. And I said, so you didn't get nothing. Uh, all the prices in this store have gone up by at least a third, okay? And uh, you guys didn't get no raise, and they're all like, nope, nope, nope. And I said, well, that's pretty fucking sad, out loud. They start grinning, some of them, right? And I'm like, you guys should have been the first ones. I said, you know, I, I can learn to live with a, a little raise or whatever, as long as it goes to you kids. But this money that's being ripped off from all of us now, customers are all looking at me. I said, that ain't going in. It's probably not even going to the franchise owner, or at least a bit of it is, but it's all going into his gangster owner. And I said, and you kids get nothing. I said, well, I said, if they're going to fuck us over, or no, sorry, I didn't say fuck us over. I said, if they're going to bend us over and grab ankle, well, then they should have at least a decency to have, A, the the, 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 the shelf stocked with food, because a lot of the time you go there, it's things on sale and never there. And number two, pay those fucking kids something better than a minimum wage to stand there all day Sunday, you know. Anyways... Don't ask me to brag, grab over and, and, and grab ankle when you're fucking these kids over uh, for a raise. But you're fucking everybody over. Anyway, sorry, I don't mean to yell, guys, but like, holy shit, you know, you just get to the point where it's like, enough's enough, man. So, and, and the only thing is, you know, I almost think Trudeau and his government are in on it. You know, and, and I'm not saying Polymer's going to be any better because they'll line his pockets and do the same thing. You know, I just, what a coincidence that those prices went up the same time the Senate and the Parliament approved that fucking grocery top up for all of Canadians. And then we're expected to go, you know, well, we can take less health care, we can take less this, we can take less that, okay? But it's not, you know, it's, it's it, the government in Canada and the United States was sold to corporations a long time ago, and that's who we're facing, okay? I don't care about liberals. I don't care about conservatives, NDP, Republicans, Democrats. These guys are fucking all of us equally, okay? So it doesn't matter if you like Trump or like me, I like Kennedy, or you like Biden, or you like Trudeau, or Jagmeet Singh, or uh, Pierre Polivare. It doesn't matter. They're owned by corporations who obviously you can just see they're, they, they, all they want to do is keep fucking the population over and uh, they'll keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it until we put a stop to it. I don't know how people, uh, but here in Canada and the United States, but it's time to put a stop to it. Okay, like for real, I'm not saying taking up arms against government. You can change things without doing that. That was proved in the 60s. Okay, uh, it was the good people that got shot like Bobby Kennedy Sr. And John F. Kennedy, you know, people, good people like that. But uh, no, we don't, you don't do what uh, some of those kids did on January 6th. Everybody else there did the right thing, but yet they're, they're liberal or Democrat people tell you that, oh, well, they're all bad. No, they're not. Okay, but anybody that ignores that fact in the Democrats, Republicans, liberals, whatever, okay, ignores the fact that we're all getting fucked together. All of us together are getting fucked over by these corporations. You know, Loblaw is the owner of Loblaw's, whoever the fuck he is. These are the enemy, okay? And our government people are just pawns. Okay, and I'm not making excuses for them, but they're just pawns. And then you got the ones that take the money behind the scenes with these people, you know. It's just ridiculous. In one week, these stores are going to make profit, so much profit, that what Trudeau was spending to give us, all Canadians, that money, whatever it costs, $1.6 billion, or I don't even know, but, you know, like that, they'll make that profit up in a week or 10 days, okay? With us, you know, like, with us taking our money, spending it there, plus the regular groceries and everything, and all these profits they're making, like, Trudeau could pay for the whole fucking thing in one shot without uh, everybody screaming and yelling about running up the debt. Is that a coincidence again?
Because we know who owns Trudeau. We know who owns the Liberals. We know who owns Polliver, the Conservatives. We know who owns Jagmet Singh. Okay? And then they got the gall to stay on TV. We're not doing anything wrong. It's just, you know, prices and things have gone up and everything. Well, that excuse was over during COVID when diesel prices went up. Yep, I get it. Employee problems, I get it. But then the diesel prices went back down, but the groceries didn't go back down. So you raise the groceries because of higher diesel and transportation, but then when it became cheaper, you didn't. You just kept it. Tell me, okay? I've run businesses before, okay? I know how supply works, okay? I've driven cement mixer all my life and dump trucks. I know how the supply system works, okay? And uh, so don't tell me you can raise it when the diesel price goes up, but you can't lower it when the diesel prices go back down. Okay, and everybody is ignoring it. Canadians are asleep. Americans are asleep. I mean, I'm on a limited budget here on pensions. And so now for me, a third, I, I literally lose a third of my grocery budget here. You know, and what's next? They're going to raise the electricity, which is unreliable here. And we should be, I, I mean, I contacted lawyers about a lawsuit to do with that because of the unreliability of the system out here that's been going on for more than 50 years. And it's not just Eastern Ontario, it's all over Ontario. Plus, I'm sure the rest of the country, there's problems everywhere. Good Lord, man, it ain't what it's saying. got nice clothes and nice shoes. Get down that bar, little tunes and homemade booze, but it always goes too far. Shoot and pull, crack a jack, take off now and don't look back.